Well, hello and welcome back to a Clash of Kings. So, it's been, I want to say, over 20 days since we took over Mir, and a lot of things has happened. I just kept going, I just didn't think we really need to record some of the things I did. Mainly, I was traveling a lot and letting time go, you know. I wanted to get some money back from all of our fighting. I wanted to regroup our troops, make sure we had enough before we started a war, that I wouldn't have to worry about that during the war, you know. Um, as because we only have the two settlements uh, that can get us troops and mainly I wanted to see what kind of relationships we had with the other people around us before I decided and it actually panned out it was a good thing to wait now first of all we have another person here it's uh, a master Herfst Herfast? he uh, he does political stuff um, I'm not quite sure what this was it let me choose and I just said like our own. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't know what to do with that. What it really affects. Um, but it's cool. We can send gifts if we really need to win over somebody. Um, and so we got money. We got... Oh, we got so many troops. I went like crazy recru uh, recruiting troops. But first, also, I stopped in and I changed Mir to our main capital place. I stopped by one place. I told him to stop making felt. So I got it pretty much for free almost. I got an extra one just in case we can get tools later. Uh, but one of our iron smith guys had this in his chest. I was like, what? You're making iron stuff and you're making this nice stuff? And you're holding out? So I, it's the exact same as mine. So the first vassal we get, um, I'll probably make from one of our companions. I'm kind of waiting. I need At least one of them needs to get a little bit higher in certain skills. Like either they have charisma and leadership and pathfinding and stuff, but they're not very good at fighting or it's one or the other. I kind of want to get somebody up there in all three before I actually let them go. But I think we should be fine because um, yeah, we should be very good. We have 339 troops in here and that's not even including the 200 and some troops I have. Look at this, 255 troops. I've got all of our companions. I got heavy knights, I got knights, I got mounted sergeants, lots and lots of ironborn, um, it's tons of troops. And I got like 300 some over here. Look. Oh, wait. That's right. I took them out of here. 136. That's still not too bad. Um, and I have patrols. I have two or three patrols running around. There's one right over here. I just used troops in our garrison that we really didn't need. Uh, I got more troops getting recruited from other areas. Speaking of which, I ran all the way through these areas and, wow, yeah. These guys are taking a lot of places from Reach, uh, but I can't recruit from them. Every time I go to one of these places owned by the Dragon Ladies faction, it just lets me recruit, um, what is that, Stormlands? Yeah, Stormland troops. So I can't recruit their special troops. I don't even know if I saw any prisoners, so maybe if I had time, one day I'll run around here and try to like fight somebody that has prisoners, but I couldn't find any. Uh, not even the bandits had any, really. Um, and then I went all the way over here, and look, North, Westerlands are all over crazy. Um, Iron Islands have taken quite a few places, and I got a lot of Ironborn from there. But yeah, whenever they take over a place, like even over here, um, these are all Northern troops. Even though the Iron Islands take it over, it doesn't switch them. And there's no option, I couldn't find their name in the list to recruit for recruiters, so... Yeah, I don't know how to get Dragon Lady troops. It'd be kind of cool, but I can't. But there we go. We got lots of troops. I got lots of money. We're making gold. Uh, let's see what else happened. Oh, let's see. Over here. These guys popped up uh, a week ago, I guess. And they took this right off the bat. It was like the Free Folk. Message popped up saying some place was under siege. Bam, they owned it. And I don't know what the deal is, but the guy booted like five of his own vassals right off the bat. Just like they took it. Two days later, he booted like five guys right out of his place, so it's kind of weird. But they're fighting these guys, so um, that's great. Kind of weaken them, because I'm thinking we might be able to take Volantis if I can get some more vassals. And let's see, that was that. That. Um, uh, what else happened? Oh! Mir is no longer a faction. If you go through our notes here, factions, Mir. Mir has ceased to exist. It was like a day after, maybe not even that, after I captured the town, this popped up. So there, we're not at war with anyone, which is great. And I have no truces. 
we can just go straight into fighting zombies. So that's perfect. That means as long as we've like annihilated their troops and we've captured all their towns, we don't have to worry about somebody, you know, building up and attacking us later after a truce or whatever. But it also means that I got um three guys in here. Well two of them technically. One of them's the leader and one's the other from here. They're never gonna get ransom, so I'm just gonna do this. We're gonna go to our castle real quick. And I'm gonna just get let go of them. We'll get a lot of happy points hopefully. Um Actually, can I go to the prisoner's cell? I don't think that's an option here. Yeah. I don't think I can actually just go to the prison cell. I think you can in castles, but I don't know how to get them in towns. Let's just try with one of them. Um, prisoner. One to release, and we'll get rid of this guy. To the prisoner. Farewell. Oh, there we go. We gained honor. Relationship with him increased from negative six to negative three. Oh. That's not very much. I was hoping for a little bit more. That's fine. Um, we'll get rid of this guy too. That was actually pretty good. And I think... I want to say that was the leader of the faction too. So that's even better. If he decides to join us, that'd be great. Alright. Well, that's done with. Now, on to business. Enough chit-chat. That was a lot of chit-chat. I didn't want to do that. But yes, I have tons of even more elite troops in here. Look at this. I got elite, elites, elites, elites. I got some uh, saved up for backups, you know? Don't want to use all of our good ones right away. But what we're going to do is we're going to go and fight these guys because they actually only have five vassals plus the leader. Um, and they're not going to be too hard. The worst is going to be this one, but it's going to be about the same. It's like 400 some troops. But they have this castle and this castle, and that is it. So once we get those two castles in this town, they're pretty much gone. But they only have five vassals compared to most have like eight vassals. So the plan is we're going to go after these guys because they're starting to not like us anyways. So we'll strike before that happens. So let's see if we can find somebody. Let's kick off a war again. <laughs> let's see. That's, that's a patrol. Oh, there we go. There's somebody patrolling. I don't want to fight them around there. And there's some recruiters. Oh, shoot. Yeah. See, I mistook these guys for the dragon lady. And so when you send them to recruit from these factions that use sail swords, don't do it. All they get is skirmishers, I swear. I sent out one to Bravos just to see if I could get any troops. And they came back with 50 sail sword skirmishers, which don't do anything. They don't <laughs> upgrade to nothing. It's like the worst thousand bucks I spent ever. This is to get 50 skirmishers. Okay, this guy's coming on land. Let's do it. Uh, we're going to lose honor, but we can get honor back pretty easily. This guy's got zero points. Um, Another man's. What do you want? It's under a dime. I'm happy to oblige you. Um, I'm king. I can do whatever I want. I lost three honor. Whatever that means. <laughs> we lost 30 points with this guy. That kind of hurt, but that's fine. Let's do this. They're all cell swords. We know what's going to be expected from these guys. And we got tons and tons of troops. Let's put our infantry right there. I'm gonna put oh my gosh, it's a giant desert. Um I'm gonna put our archers here. I got a big mix of crossbowers and lawnbowers. It seems like I might need to put them up a little bit higher into our list. We got quite a few infantry here. Um but I was kinda hoping to have some more archers in our army in these big fights. You know, kinda whittle them down before they actually get into the fray. I don't think our troops will have any troubles. We have a lot of ironborn. I'm trying to level up to retainers because all oh, those guys are going to be amazing on the walls. Just imagine 50 ironborn retainers, elite ones, just hacking away at whatever stands in their way. It's going to be amazing. Okay, cavalry, you could stand a little bit closer. I got lots of cavalry. I got lots of archers and stuff. I got our trainers upgrading troops just to um, infantry because we don't really need too many archers. They don't die. Are these guys going to come at us? No, they're not. They're going to hold their spot. Okay. I'm tempted to use that hill over here, but that's kind of a long walk. So let's let's use this little hill over here. So infantry, go over here. Archers, you're going to go over here. Actually, we're going to keep them a little closer. And cavalry, we're going to keep you over here instead. We'll use this little raise, rise, whatever, hill, bump. 
this high ground. <laughs> I would kind of get them with our archers a little bit. It's cool. Bit of a group of cavalry, but not too bad. They don't have too many infantry, it doesn't look like. Okay. Oh, this is going to take a while. Let me get them in position and then we'll cut back the action. Okay, that took a little bit of a walk. <laughs> but we made it. Okay, I got our guys. They're pretty much ready to charge. I'm going to our archers start firing now that our infantry wall is in position. Let's see if they can actually shoot. Oh yeah, they can shoot from this far. I don't know why these guys aren't shooting as much as these. Our own troops, I mean. I'm going to position these guys a little bit more over. And these guys can move up a little bit more. I'm kind of wanting to get these cavalry to charge just before the action starts. It's those lances. You see, you can see they got those huge lances, uh, which do lots of damage to your first wave. But as you can see, we got a lot of shields up, a lot of sergeants in this group. I might have to move some other troops down. Let's see. I like to have the spears mixed with infantry. Just in case, like this situation where you gotta have a a little protection against cavalry, but I kind of want to get some more archers in the group. I might move some of our cavalry down. I don't know. It's give and take. But these guys aren't doing too much damage right now. Okay, guys, let's start moving up a little bit. Uh, cavalry can go a little bit closer. Don't want to wait for your charge to do anything. Yeah, these guys are shooting way too low. Okay. Guys can move over here. Yeah, look at that. They're like not even hitting the horses. That's ridiculous. <laughs> you guys need to aim up higher. Oop, 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 oop. Hold right there, hold right there. Okay. See, they didn't even really have any time to get into their charge mode right there. Ah! Okay. Kill our infantry to charge. Let's go after anybody who gets too far away. Okay. Archers, you can stand over here on this hill. Get a little bit of angle. And we're gonna go take out some of these skirmishers. Yeah. Oh, oh shoot! Those spears hurt. Okay. Look, they should have totally took this hill. This is a nice hill. What are you guys thinking? Okay. Distracted these guys a little bit. Oh my goodness. Seriously, just porcupine my poor horse. No. Oh my goodness. Sorry, horse. I did not really mean for you to get that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. This horse. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's got like less than half my health is gone. Same with my horse. We got the exact same damage taken from those things. Holy cow! That would hurt so much in real life. Okay, there's quite a few guys over there still, and they're all running. Look at them. They're just going for it. I don't know if I'm going to get much damage in here with this horse. I'm have to get on foot. Yep. Okay, horse. You rest. Rah! Smashing time. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> okay. Prisoners. Oh my goodness. Speaking of prisoners, I don't know how many trips I took. Like six trips to get rid of all my cell sword prisoners. Because luckily they didn't disappear after we defeated their faction. But oh my goodness. Only being able to move 25 troops at a time took forever. You stumble and fall. Great. Okay. Where's this last guy? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's so gone. We only lost one dude. That is insane. That's what you get when you bring good troops to a fight against Cell Swords. Cell Swords suck. Oh, poor horsey. Poor horsey. Okay. A rhino and a unicorn. Let's see. You gained one renown. Um, we only lost that. They lost tons. Uh, let's see, 16 wounded, and I got 8. It's not too bad. Okay, he escaped, that's fine. And prisoners, okay. 
Uh, I might as well take them. I mean, I can only hold 25, and they're not much difference. The only ones I really noticed you don't want to take is halberds. They're like 50 bucks. It's like the cheapest unit. Hmm. Those are okay, but they're not the best. Gloves, we don't need those. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, Blackwell upgraded. Declaration of War. Yep. That's a biggie. 5,100. Troops ready upgrade. Great. The one thing I found I'm having trouble with is upgrading all my troops. <laughs> God. <laughs> I keep running out of money. So, let's see. Sergeants. Well, I don't run out, but I have to keep going back to my treasury. Let's see. Upgrade those guys. We might. Uh, Upgrade these guys. Might as well. And then... Yeah. I'm just going Ironborn, Spearman. Let's see. What could I do? I could move you guys down. Da -da -da. Ironborn Axeman. Hmm. Let's... Hmm. Let's move... Goodness. I think I'm going to move these guys. No, I like those guys. Let's just move down our sergeants a little bit. I don't really need any more cavalry. I got more cavalry back at the other place. Let's move them down here so we can get more uh, veteran reach crossbows. There we go. That should even out a little bit more. Get a few more archers. Alright, so who's this guy? He's <laughs> recruiting from the faction I just declared war at. And we have another patrol, which has quite a bit of troops in it from their slaves they keep capturing. I should probably take one of those out. It might help, but I want to see if we can fight one more. So there's, let me double check, I'm pretty sure there's five vassals in the leader. So let's see, factions, Tyrosh, there's one, two, three, four, five, plus the one. So there's one down, four to go, plus the leader, which we'll probably find, because he got like 300 troops, probably. Uh, no one's here, but the uh, 433, only 27 troops, prisoners. So that's not a very good idea to try to siege that right now. A lot of farmers running around. Okay. Let's see if anyone's over here. There's just been nothing but constantly text. There's so many wars going on right now. It's crazy. Is anyone home here? No, but there's 146 troops. Oh, that's very tempting. I'd like to take out more people before we actually try to siege. Um, especially if they try to do something. What's this? Flying overhead, carrying our large rat in its claw. Suddenly the vulture is attacked by an eagle. This seems to be an omen, but how to interpret it? Eagle's me, it's a sign of victory. Victory will be mine, yes. Oh my goodness, this is planks of slippery and covered with grease. Someone should clean them. Um clean the planks. I lose five renown. Oh, oop. Well I found the other four. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh it's hard work but it's rewarding. Yeah I probably would have lost something. So there's 133 78, oh, 113, Broken Men, that's not ours, but it's 54 skirmishers. And there's the big honcho himself, 360 troops, 46 sellsword knights, 46 sellsword squires, 48 man at arms, 75 crossbowmen, 60 spears, 71 archers, and 11 halberdiers. He should have just left those guys at home. Dang, that's a lot of big troops. Um. Yeah, I'm going to take that guy on all by himself. Let's see, 3.5. Oh, yeah, he's much slower than the rest of these. But I need to get moving so I don't get caught by all of them. We're going to kind of move over here because I'd rather not fight them on boats, too. That just That's just horrible, fighting on boats. There's no strategy. It's just whoever got the best, the biggest, the meanest troops. If I had, like, nothing but Ironborn retainers, then I'd totally do that. Oh, they're taking out my recruiter. I should definitely help them now. Let's go rush to the aid real quick. Let's see. Rush to the aid of the recruiter. I don't really need the troops, but I'd rather not lose that recruiter. It's a waste of money. Let's see. Lead your troops. Let's do it. It's only 15 of them, but... Psh, I'd rather not lose money. I can always use them for, you know... Uh, cannon fodder. <laughs> Sail swords. What can I say? I don't quite like them. They're a little on the meek side. Okay, everyone go there. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Oh my goodness, we got like all their so swords. Okay. And these guys, you gotta be careful. Because they like to run into rocks. It's not what I was gonna say. I was gonna say 
they got lances, and they can do some nice um, couch lance damage. I've been caught off guard by one or two of them. Seriously, you guys took all my infantry spots by standing there. Seriously. All right, let's do this. Go <laughs> restart. Standing closer. I can't believe that. There's nothing but skirmishers there, and I got like a handful of infantry to protect them. Start throwing those things, honestly. Pincushion the enemy. There we go. That guy was bugging me. There they go. That's a lot of pointy sticks coming at them. Okay, Calvary, go ahead and charge in there. It's just nothing but... Look at that. That's why we lost so many troops in those sieges. Tons and tons of pointy sticks right there. Look at them all. Oh, I missed. First person mode. That's why I got back up. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's finish them off. We're going to have to end soon. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's very nice to get these heavy knights, though. They're like tanks, I swear. They take so much damage. Okay. 13 killed. I got two. Let's see, harness is okay. I want you to recruit different troops. Oh, nice. Current has to recruit 50 Tersh. Yeah, we don't want to recruit those. Could I recruit different troops for you now? Let's send you. I should send you very far so you don't get captured. Let's do. I think I sent some for Vale. Riverlanders? They're not even a faction. What would I get with that? Might as well, right? Okay. Two more prisoners. Let's take them. And one item. What was it? <laughs> a tunic. Great. Okay. So there we go. I'm going to have to take a pause. Um, I'm going to probably uh, run to some place, take a little breather, and next episode we're going to try to take out some of these more before we head off and take out the big honcho if I have to. I can always get more troops. So, oh yeah, this is going to be nice. Once I take them all out, we're probably going to hit... I'm thinking this one, just because it's so far away. And then we'll hit this one, and then we'll take out this one. But we should be good. We should be able to take them out fairly quickly. And a lot easier than the other one. Um, so yeah. Thank you for all the suggestions. Um, and I will see you guys next time.